Hey guys, um, long time no see, or however that works. Um, just a little speed paint I did a while back uh, after watching a documentary about mega churches and um, those sort of things in, in the States. And uh, I decided to do a little speed paint because uh, I was bored and I hadn't recorded one in ages so I figured why not just uh, start up my uh, Corel Painter software and my screen recording software and, and do a little video. So um, as with most of my stuff I just start out with guesstimating uh, obviously I'm working from from reference uh, I, I can't remember the name of the preacher right now but he's one of the big ones and he has some pretty insane uh, <laughs> quotes and uh, it's a pretty interesting character um, and I start with trying to get the general shapes and then I go in with some lighter values to to uh, build up form um, and I'll soon go in with darker values to sort of make it more uh, give it more form and, and sort of try to get that 3d sort of look with, with the cha shading and uh, yeah so this is usually my process use the world famous and, and trusted guesstimation sort of thing I, I just put stuff in and try to sort of orient it uh, in regards to to other elements of, of what I'm making and uh, yeah hope the audio quality is good because I just uh, dug out my Nessie Blue microphone that's been in its box for a couple of years now uh, <laughs> and uh, decided to try and, and do a little like voiceover thing for this and um, yeah, and yesterday I did a, a video with my buddy uh, we did um, unboxing for the, the uh, Evercade uh, VS arcade machine thing with uh, retro games and stuff so and and I totally realized now I should have made like sort of um, some keywords or maybe wrote something down for this because I'm sort of I I'm not sure quite sure what I'm going to talk about but uh, yeah anyways um, so I'm I'm trying to go in and refine some some spots and sort of hit those landmarks um, that I see in the reference and. Uh, Try to build a form, and, and as you can see, I'm I'm fixing stuff when I see they're a bit off uh, compared to to what I'm looking at, and it's sort of uh, it's not precise, but but it's it's a method I like using, and and it works for me. So yeah, I'm sure my accuracy would go way up if I started actually measuring stuff and. Um, but uh, maybe I'm lazy and just try to guesstimate and eyeball everything. So um, uh, I think it turned out pretty well in the end. And uh, yeah, this is uh, running now at uh, two times speed. So. Um, I think the original time lapse was around 18 minutes from start to finish, so it's a speed paint. And in my book, anything that's less than 30 minutes uh, classifies as sort of a speed paint doodle sort of thing. And uh, yeah, and as you probably hear, I'm a bit uh, my nose is a bit stuffy because it's. Uh, just starting to get into that winter season and every year uh, everyone gets a cold around this time so and it's the middle of November so that's that's just how it is 
and you can see now I'm trying to go in and, and pop some of those brighter spots while trying to build the form. Um, it's usually like in the last half of, of the process I start to like tune in stuff and try to get the accuracy better with the shapes and, and forms and um, and I see here I, I already did the small highlights in the eyes. I usually save the highlights for last because that's one of the most satisfying things doing in, in art. Uh, at least when I do it. I, I love doing those little highlights and those shiny bits uh, at the end. Uh, but uh, yeah. Should probably start doing more of these again because I, I, I realize I'm a bit rusty and and I've mostly been working with pencil and paper lately, so I haven't recorded anything. Uh, not like I used to do, because I used to record stuff all the time before, uh, previously. And um, so maybe I'll get back into that, or maybe I'll finally get a proper setup for my traditional work and, and I can do some uh, pencil time lapses or maybe some portraits or some f weird stuff uh, with pen and paper or pencil and paper so um, yeah uh, why I picked this subject it's probably because I was watching some documentaries and well ended up going down the YouTube rabbit hole of mega churches and and stuff like that and it's super fascinating um, with these characters, these people, and um, yeah, I just I got this I got this uh, inspiration to do do a portrait, and um, you can see I'm gonna add the final elements in the end. Uh, <laughs> it's it gets sort of a sinister vibe. Right now, it's not giving off that yet, but uh, but we'll get there, I think. And, uh, yeah, so it's Sunday today, um, just relaxing and, and recording this, um, uh, voiceover. Um, let's see, have I done anything exciting this weekend? I helped my buddy set up his, uh, streaming stuff with, uh, Stream Deck and he bought the new, um, Elgato face cam. That was really nice, great quality. And he also had picked up the Wave 3 microphone and um, the, 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 I think it's the 9 button stream deck, not the mini, but the, the, the reg regular one. So we got that working with the OBS Studio, it was really fun. And also the HDS60 uh, game recording software, so we're going to make a some... Uh, more reviews and unboxing videos on, on that channel, um, which is always fun. Haven't done that in a while, so it will be fun starting that up again. So, and you can see we're we're nearing the end now, and I've started adding those elements that sort of uh, gives the piece a totally different vibe than than what it just had, and. Uh, it's sort of a comment on um, on the stuff these people say, and uh, yeah, it's uh, super interesting and bonkers at the same time. So um, yeah, and I think um, in the end, I I ended up really happy with how this turned out, and uh, so nice speed paint and I'm happy I actually recorded this one because lately I've 99% of the stuff I made have not been recorded um, most of it I haven't even posted anywhere so uh, yeah I'm glad I managed to record this one and uh, I'm happy with how it turned out so anyways I'll try making some new stuff uh, more often than I have been the last couple of years and uh, and we'll just see uh, winter is coming so 
probably be spending a lot more time indoors and, and making art and and just relaxing. So, uh, yeah, until next time, I hope everyone has a great day or evening or night, wherever you might be in the world. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.